Biden administration completely kills the it's a private company, so it's not censorship argument. And what's surely the biggest, imagine the outrage if Trump had done that moment to date. The Biden administration has admitted that it is giving Facebook a list of accounts to censor for spreading disinformation about COVID-19. We've increased disinformation research and tracking, Press Secretary Jen Psaki told the press on Thursday. Within the Surgeon General's office, we're flagging problematic posts for Facebook that spread disinformation. We're working with doctors and medical professionals to connect medical experts with people who are popular with their audiences with accurate information and boost trusted content. So we're helping get trusted content out there. Saki told the White House Press Corps that the administration has a list of accounts who produce most of the anti-vaccine information on Facebook, which civil libertarians are decrying as an obviously authoritarian government overreach. The Biden administration is telling Facebook which posts it regards as problematic so Facebook can remove them, Glenn Greenwald said on Twitter in response to the news. This is the union of corporate and state power, one of the classic hallmarks of fascism, that the people who spent five years babbling about fascism support. If you don't find it deeply disturbing that the White House is flagging internet content that they deem problematic to their Facebook allies for removal then you are definitely an authoritarian, Greenwald said. No other information is needed about you to know that. There is no circumstance, none, in which it's acceptable for the White House or any other agency of the government to be providing lists to Facebook of problematic content that it once removed. Yet that's exactly what Saki says they're doing. The White House is admitting that they're compiling lists of people who they claim are posting content they regard as problematic and that constitute misinformation, and are demanding Facebook remove them. This is authoritarianism. The most common argument you'll hear from those who support monopolistic social media giants controlling speech on their platforms is that these are private corporations, not the government, so it doesn't count as censorship. Whenever you object to Silicon Valley oligarchs exerting total control over the political speech of billions of people, Mainstream liberals instantly transform into an army of Ayn Rands defending the private property rights of those companies. The fact that these platforms are inseparably interwoven with the highest branches of the U.S. federal government kills such arguments stone dead. And if you were paying attention, that argument was already dead. All of these online platforms use censorship and algorithm manipulation to hide undesirable political speech from the mainstream public in direct collaboration with government and government-tied institutions. In 2017, Senator Dianne Feinstein threatened social media platforms that alleged Russian interference in the 2016 election means they need to start utilizing more censorship or else face consequences, saying, You created these platforms and they are being misused and you have to be the ones to do something about it, or we will. That same year, representatives from top internet platforms were brought before Congress and told they needed to adopt a mission statement expressing their commitment to prevent the fomenting of discord because civil wars don't start with gunshots, they start with words. In the lead-up to the 2020 election, online platforms were openly coordinating with U.S. government agencies to censor speech believed to compromise election integrity. Facebook, the largest social media platform in the world where a third of Americans regularly get their news, openly enlists the government and plutocrat funded imperialist narrative management firm The Atlantic Council to help it determine what content to censor and what to boost. Facebook has stated that if its fact checkers like The Atlantic Council deem a page or domain guilty of spreading false information, it will dramatically reduce the distribution of all their page level or domain level content on Facebook. Google, for its part, has been financially intertwined with U.S. intelligence agencies since its very inception, where it received research grants from the CIA and NSA. It pours massive amounts of money into federal lobbying and D.C. think tanks, has a cozy relationship with the NSA, and has been a military intelligence contractor from the beginning. Americans deserve to know what extent the federal government works with social media companies, former Congressman Justin Amash said on Twitter in response to Saki's incendiary admission. Is there any quid pro quo? The First Amendment exists to keep the government from controlling what Americans hear. Free societies counter misinformation with information, not bans. 
Democrats have summoned tech executives to the Congress at least four times in the past year, Greenwald responded to Amash. The last time, they repeatedly and explicitly threatened regulatory and other legal punishment if they don't start censoring more. The content Dems regard as disinformation, or hate speech. In a corporatist system of government, where there is no separation between corporate power and state power, corporate censorship is state censorship. The actual government as it actually exists is censoring speech, not just of its own people, but people around the world. If U.S. law had placed as much emphasis on the separation of corporation and state as it has on the separation of church and state, the country would look unrecognizably different from what we see today. Only infantile narcissists and power-worshipping bootlickers want the most powerful government on earth controlling what people are allowed to say to each other about a virus response which affects everybody, and only those with no sense of self-preservation entrust worldwide human speech to an alliance of government agencies and powerful tech plutocrats. We cannot keep heading in this direction.